you guys. My name is Mary I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aries, and you enjoy my content, if you can ring a little bell and buy my soul tribe, I'd super appreciate it. Same, same, same. It, it, for real, for real, if you want to be notified for future readings, um, just smash the sub button. Just saying. Um, this is uh, week two's reading for the sign of Aries. This could resonate if you have Aries in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Dwarf, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. It doesn't apply to apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. These are psychic, psychic, intuitive messages, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. I got three messages for your sign. That's, that's a lot for pre-shuffling meditation to say it. But it is, so... All right, let's, let's let's roll. Thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just a bomb freaking diggity.com. Every like, every dislike, every like, subscribe, share, and um, every donation to channel. If you like to donate, it's high priestess row five, PayPal only, no cash out, no good money. Okay, so the first one I heard was about to pop. That was the first one, about to pop. So I take that as um, something is about to pop. Um, something's about to pop. I think metaphoric, metaphorically and physically. So maybe you're pregnant and you're about to pop metaphorically or somebody's connected, somebody connected to you. About to pop energy pregnant wise is so pregnant, man. You're like a freaking oompa loompa. Just saying. Been there twice. Just saying. Um, so, you know, I, I that's what I think metaphorically. Maybe some of you guys are so pregnant. You're like an egg um, oompa loompa rolling around and... You're about to pop or it could be somebody you're connected to possibly you plug it in how it resonates um i'm not making fun of you man i'm laughing with you not at you just saying um the set uh if that resonates with you um oh and then physically something could be about to pop physically so maybe you're gonna pop something or maybe you're doing a game that's gonna pop something or somebody connected to you popping something something's about to pop maybe you're popping a zit or somebody connected to you is popping a zit. Boom. Pimple popper. Just saying. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, the second one I heard in Aries is about to find out a water sign is about to get indicted. Um, that was the second one. An Aries is about to find out a water sign is about to be indicted. Um, that was the second one. Now, we brought in indictment energy, I think, like a week, ago, week or so ago. So, um... Um, indictment is basically being charged, um, being charged for crimes, uh, like serious crimes. Um, this isn't like, um, speeding 10 miles over or something very minute. It's serious, serious, serious crimes, basically. Um, like grand, go into the grand jury, um, crimes, um, is what I gathered from reading the indictment the other day when we were pulling it in. So, if this resonates with you, Aries, it could be, um, it's a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine or femme. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them, any of your Jupiter charts, but I heard you're about to find out they're about to be indicted. So, that's the whole being charged, grand jury energy, um, very serious crime or crimes, however that resonates. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them, any of Jupiter. Um, and the third one, um, I heard, um, an Aries is about to find out a family member, um, uh, an Aries is about to find out a family member, um, is, has OD, is what I heard. So, um, you plug that in, how that resonates, OD energy is overdose. So, um, ODing on some kind of illicit drug or abuse of prescription medication or both, um, overdose energy. Um, or it could be overdosing on Tylenol or aspirin or cough syrup, overdosing on something um, that you shouldn't be overdosing on, whatever the property is. Um, it's a family member. If this resonates with you, it's a family member, and you're about to find out they have overdosed. Um, I didn't hear death in there. Um, maybe for some, they get uh, Narcan, if it's narcotics, maybe for some they get a life save, maybe for some they don't, I don't know, but you're about to find out that um, a family member um, has OD, 
uh, overdosed. So you plug it in, however that resonates, that resonates for you. Dear my Lord. I hope everybody is doing well tonight. I really, really do. Uh, if you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, Aries, um, feel free to share these on your social media. I'd really, really appreciate it if you did. Spirit messages you have for sign Aries. Oh my God, that popped out so strong. An Aries and a Libra is about to get in several, several, several conflicts. Heated, heated, heated conflicts very soon. Some domestic disputes, some family disputes over money. <coughs> Excuse me. Some over stolen money. Okay. <clears throat> so I heard some domestic disputes. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Some domestic disputes. Some, um, so domestic dispute, I think that's you and a partner. Or you in a third party, or you in a situation ship, some kind of domestic dispute energy. Um, uh, some a family member, um, family member squabble, um, and some over money, family member squabble over money, and some over stolen money. So um, the, the third one, the stolen money energy, I don't feel that could be a family member or not be a family member. I just heard stolen money. So some domestic disputes, some family, it's a domestic, it's a squabble with a family member over money. And the third one is over stolen money. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates with you. Um, Aries, it's Aries and Libra in energy. So you and a Libra, they could have Libra and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, meaning of Jupiter, masculine or femme Libra. Three of Pentacles reversed, three of swords reversed. An Aries is sick and tired of doing all the work. Sick and tired. Some planning, some in a home situation. Some in a business. They are about to make huge changes. It's not going to make the lazy one's happy. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard an Aries is sick and tired of doing all the work. Some in a business situation, some in a um, home type situation is what I'm presuming. And some in a, um, what was the other one? There was another one. You have to go back and check it. Um, but however that resonates, I heard you're tired of doing all the work. And um, you're going to make some huge changes and it's going to make the lazy ones um Piss basically. So three pinnacles are reversed. They're not helping you. They're not helping you. No teamwork. Three of swords reversed. This is you becoming numb and cold to the situation because it, whoever this is for, this is not the first time they've been lazy. Apparently they've been lazy many freaking times and you're tired of it. And I don't freaking blame you. You're a fire sign. I'm a fire sign. I get it. I freaking get it, man. Um, you're tired of doing everything. Um, I heard you're about to make huge changes. It's going to piss, piss the lazy ones off. So however, Whoever the lazy ones are in your life and however they resonate, you have to plug them in how they fit. Spirit messages you have sign of Aries. An Aries and a Cancer's love relationship. Some are about to take on new heights and levels. Some are about to end. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, Aries and Cancer energy. Um, if this resonates with you, uh, your partner is a Cancer. Um, they could have Cancer in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midnight, or Jupiter. 
Some of you guys, the, it sounds like the love relationship's about to end. Some, it's about to take on new heights. So that could be engagement. That could be vacationing together. That could be um, buying a home together, moving in together. Um, some kind of new height energy in a positive way for some of you guys. For some, it is the relationship's about to end. So you plug yourself in where you fit. It's a cancer is your partner. They have cancer and there's some moon rising. Venus, North, no moon, Haven, Jupiter. Strength, two of wands, upright, justice, upright. And Aries is about to make an ex executive decision to move. They have been intuitively wanting to do this for a while, and they are about to do it. Move far locations permanently. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Does that resonate with you? Um, if this resonates with you, you've been wanting to move far locations for a while. Um, so you want to get out of the current location you're in, um, and you want to move. Like, move, move, move. Um, like, permanently, I heard. Um, and it sounds like it's about to happen. I heard you're about to make the executive decision to do it. So for some, you could be head of household and you have children. For some, you could um, just tell your partner, hey, I'm moving. You can move with me or not. Um, that's energy I'm feeling. Some kind of executive energy decision. So, I mean, you're going to do it whether you have a partner or not. For some, you could be single. For some, if you have children, you're just going to be like, hey, we're moving. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. But, um. You're going to do it. You're freaking doing it. And it's going to be far locations. How would that resonates? Um, strength, you're going to have strength to move on. Passion, desire, drive, motivation to move the crap on. Two of Wands upright. That's the action to move. Justice, you're, um, you, you're going to get universal justice in this situation by moving. Um, you, I heard you've been wanting to do it a while. For some, you could be dealing with the Libra and a Leo. Because this is Leo energy and Libra energy. Uh, if you are, they can have Libra or Leo and there's some moon rising, Venus, North, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter. You plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. A particular Aries is about to get stole from in a huge way by someone they never expected to get stole from. Okay. Heard a particular Aries is about to get stole from in a huge way. Um... By someone they never thought would steal from them. So you plug it in, however that resonates. If that resonates for you, Aries, it's some kind of theft energy. I heard it's going to be by someone you never thought would steal from you. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. If that resonates for you, nine of ones upright, ten of ones upright. And Aries is about to start seeing huge, huge blockages in their workplace. Huge. Blocking their movement up. It's about to really piss them off. They know it's being done for strategic reasons, and it is. Oh, my God. You plug it in, how it resonates, if it resonates with you, Aries. I heard um, an Aries is about to start seeing um, blockages in their workplace, um, blocking you from moving up. So blocking you out of, um, whoever this is for, I think it's a professional career, to say in. Um, but I think they're blocking, they're blocking your career path up. So like the career ladder up. So no promotions, no bonuses, no, no forward movement up. But... Whoever's doing it, they're doing it for strategic reasons. I heard you intuitively know they're doing it for strategic reasons. And I heard from Spirit they are. So that's confirmation they really, I mean, they are. You're noticing this. You're highly intuitive. You're either noticing now or you're about to notice it. And um, I heard from Spirit they are. They're intentionally blocking you. So I think they're threatened by you. I think they're threatened by you. I think they know that you are, um, that you are, good at what you do you're very good at what you do and they're scared um that you might outdo them that's exactly what i think 
because I heard they are strategically blocking you. Um, so when you find this out, um, you plug it in how it resonates, and it's all on the cards. Energetic, um, energetic stop of energetic movement. Ten of Wands upright. You've got a big ass burden because you're energetically being blocked, i.e., and this is in the workplace environment. So you're not able to move up the career ladder. Um, in so no promotion, or if it's a promotion, it's very minimal promotion. Um, not maybe you should have had a promotion a while ago when you never got it. Um, um, not putting your name in the hat, energy, that kind of thing. You plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my God. Maybe somebody um, talking really, really bad about you at work, gossiping and slandering your name, possibly, to get others not to like you. Possibly. I didn't hear that, but possibly. That's really sad. That's sad energy. That's people, that's people um, that are low vibrational and they're scared of your ass, basically. That's what that is. Spirit messages you have on Aries. Spirit messages you have on Aries. An Aries is that about to be asked to adopt a child. Okay, I heard an Aries is about to be asked to adopt a child. So you plug it in, however that resonates. If that resonates with you, Aries, you're about to be asked to adopt a child. If that um, resonates with you, for at least one of you guys in the universe. And an Aries is about to get the green light to move forward in a legal situation regarding a child for some and children for some. Okay, and Aries is about to get the green light to move forward in a legal situation. Uh, for some of these, for some of you guys, it's regarding a child, and for some, it's regarding two or more children. For some, it could be the adoption energy. Um, maybe for some of you guys, um, you're about to be asked to adopt a child um, or children. However, that resonates um, for you, Aries. Cup, money path. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. A Gemini is about to get very, 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 very pissed at an Aries. Very. They're going to reveal very important information on this Aries of the past. It's going to be very, very, very detrimental to this Aries. Know this. Okay, whoa. So you're drawing in Gemini energy, negative Gemini energy. Um, I heard an Aries is, um, uh, a Gemini is about to be very, very pissed at Aries. Very pissed. Um, and they are uh, going to reveal some very, very, very important information on this um, Aries. If this resonates with you, Aries, I heard it's going to be very detrimental to the Aries. Very detrimental. It's going to ruin some plans. Know this. Okay, I heard very detrimental. It's going to ruin some plans. Know this. So you've got some plans, but a Gemini is about to disrupt them in some shape, form, or fashion. Because they know some very, very, very important information on the past. Um, you're about to piss the Gemini off. They're about to find something out. Um, and they're about to reveal something, which is going to, sounds like, ruin your plans. Um, whatever plans they are, it could be plans of adopting this child or children. It could be um, plans of moving, possibly. It could be plans of something else. Um, however that resonates in your life. Cup, you should accept valid crit criticism. A Leo is going to find out too. Know this through series of chain of events. And when this Leo finds out, it will be over because of information that will be given. Oh my God, Aries. Woo. And I heard when a Leo finds out, um, the, apparently a Gemini is going to find out they're going to 
reveal some important information is going to be very de detrimental. You've got some kind of strategic, st sneaky strategic plan going on over here, Aries. Um, and a Gemini is going to find out. They're going to get pissed. And then I heard, and then when a Leo finds out, so it sounds like a Gemini is going to find out, and then a Leo is going to find out. And when a Leo finds out, it's going to be, I heard hashtag dead game over because they've got some, some, something really super detrimental. I didn't hear super detrimental, but some really juicy or important information on you in some shape, form, or fashion. It sounds like it's going to hashtag dead it. So some kind of strategic, sneaky plan you got going on. For some, I feel it's regarding children. Um, possibly. For some, it could be something else. Some kind of strategic, sneaky plan. But um, it sounds like a Gemini and a Leo is going to dead that crap. However that resonates. You should accept valid criticism. And then series of chain of events will occur after this is finally open and in the air. You shouldn't go behind people's backs. Okay. Oh my God. I heard, and then series of chain of events will occur after um, this occurs. You shouldn't go behind people's backs. So you're going behind somebody's back to do something very sneaky and deceptive and it's regarding for some i feel it's regarding children possibly possibly maybe the adoption energy is very valid and upright and substantial for some but for some i feel you might be trying to adopt somebody's kids behind their back um and i'm serious about that i hate to say that but that's what i'm feeling for at least one of you guys in the universe um the other it could be something else but it's gonna it sounds like it's gonna be deaded by this Gemini and this, uh, this Leo, and um, you're about to piss people off. I mean, I'm serious, because I heard you shouldn't go behind people's backs. You shouldn't be sneaking and go behind people's backs. So that could be the light, um, accepting the valid criticism and um, basically stay in your lane energy, basically. Stay in your lane energy, accept valid criticism, and stay in your lane is what I'm, I'm feeling on this. I didn't hear that from spirit. That's for me. If that resonates for me. And I'm serious. Um, nobody should be sneaky trying to go behind people's backs, especially when it comes to children. I'm not saying all these situations are regarding children, but I feel one Aries in the uh, universe is trying to sneakily adopt somebody's children. I mean, I don't even know how you would do that unless it was an extremely unfit situation. Like somebody was hopped up on drugs or, um, or something of that nature. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Just saying, just saying. And another particular Aries is trying to fight for custody of their child. But it's going to go to someone else. Okay, wow, a lot of children and adoption and custody energy in here. And I heard one particular Aries is trying to fight for um, custody of their child, but I heard it's going to go to someone else. So the custody of your child, if this resonates with you, Aries, is going to go to someone else, but you're trying to fight for custody of your child, but I heard it's going to go to someone else. So that could be the accept um, valid criticism as well. Um, I don't know the age on that child. Um, ages have a lot to do with that usually, but you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I think that's a separate situation. I do. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Money path, a path with money is waiting for you to find it. I just don't understand the whole sneaky deceptive behavior. Say what you got to say, man. Say what you got to say to people's faces. You're a fire sign. You know this. You are a fire sign and you know this well than anybody, Aries. Um, I keep getting negative energy up in y'all's freaking readings almost at least once a month. More than that, usually. Be straight with people. Be freaking straight with them. Just saying, just saying. We wouldn't have such crazy energetic spaces. Money path, the path of money is waiting for you to find it.
And Aries is really, really experiencing huge decline in their business. Huge. Time to get creative. Okay. I heard of Aries is experiencing huge decline in their business. Time to get creative. So who this resonates with, you own your own business, I feel. I feel you own your own business. Um, and it's time to get creative. So think of creative healthy, creative ways to increase your business. Um, maybe fun, creative marketing techniques or strategies, possibly. Um, or, you know, decreasing some kind of overhead costs, possibly. Um, just ideas. You can take it or leave it. But um, some kind of um, um, creative ways you're going to, it sounds like you're about to implement or try to implement to increase your business. I feel you own this business if this resonates with you. And another Aries is about to take on creative ventures in their home to try to make more money. Some they will be successful and some they will not. Okay, and I heard another Aries is about to take on creative ventures in their own home to try to make more money. I heard some of these Aries will be successful and some they will not. So a path with, with money is waiting for you to find it. So that's you trying to be creative um, to make extra money in your home. Um, because you, I think because your revenue has declined or maybe you um, left a job or uh, maybe you're too, used to two incomes and you're down to one. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, I heard some of you guys will be successful. So you're going to find some kind of creative ways in your home to um, increase revenue in some shape, form, or fashion. But some you will be successful. So some it will make money and some it will not. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. If that resonates for you, let me see if I hear anything else. That little sneaky deceptive plan really pisses me off. I just want to say, that's for at least one of you guys in the universe. Um, what the hell? Just saying, just saying. An Aries is about to find out they're pregnant. And a Leo is about to ask an Aries out on a date. Okay. Okay. So I heard an Aries is about to find out they're pregnant. And, and Leo is about to ask an Aries out on a date. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, well, about to ask, uh, about to ask you out on a date. Well, that, okay. Hopefully, um, hopefully you do a background check on them. Just saying. They could have Leo and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midheaven, Jupiter, double fire sign energy. Um, if that resonates for you, they're Aries. All right. Well, we're done. Love you guys so much. Hope this helped. Um, free general reading. Only take messages that resonate. Hope you're not the stinky, deceptive, trying to, sounds like somebody's trying to adopt somebody's kids beneath their feet. Um, I hope to God not. That just pissed me off. All right. Love you guys. Namaste.